Hello, in this podcast we will discuss about benefits and challenges about investing in China. But before that if you want to read full article about it then the link of the article is in description. Also you can subscribe to our YouTube channel Monist View. Interest in Chinese stocks has been growing in recent years as investing in China offers diversification and huge growth potential. However, many large companies in China, especially in the internet and tech space, have had a bumpy ride during the past year. Some of China's biggest internet and tech companies witnessed a steep correction last year. A combination of factors, including government policies and a crackdown on Chinese tech companies, is responsible for China's stock market's drawdown. But now, there seems to be light at the end of the tunnel. Let's discuss key benefits for investing in China. There is no shortage of top-notch international investment destinations globally, and investing in China's companies is not always easy. Yet, foreign investors are keen on making investments in Chinese stock markets due to three key benefits. 1. Size of the Chinese stock market. China is currently the world's second largest economy, with a gross domestic product of around 18 trillion US dollars. Moreover, it also has the largest population in the world. These two factors make China a potentially massive market for importers, countries, companies, and investors. So this is one reason for investing in China. 2. Access to infrastructure and human resources. The second reason for investing in China is that a significant proportion of China's population is working age. In addition, the Chinese government has made significant investments in developing world-class infrastructure at multiple locations. It has also established special economic zones across the country. Due to these factors, China provides a unique and irreplaceable environment for domestic and international manufacturing facilities. 3. Focus on innovation and emerging industries. Chinese companies are at the forefront of several emerging industries. Their innovative abilities challenge established companies in developed economies like Japan. Europe, and the US. Currently, China spends an estimated 2.5% of its GDP on research and development activities in diverse industries ranging from artificial intelligence and robotics to healthcare and e-commerce. It has created an environment that favors the continuous growth of the Chinese economy. Now let's discuss key challenges for investing in China. Even though China continues to be a popular international investment destination, There are a few hurdles that you need to consider before investing in China. 1. Chinese government's policy. A case in point is the sudden and unexpected crackdown by the Chinese government on some of the country's most well-known tech and internet companies. The subsequent correction in the share prices of companies like Diddy Chuxing, Meiduan, and Alibaba led to significant losses for domestic and international investors. What's more, there is still some confusion regarding whether the current crackdown has ended or if the government will take further action in the future. 2. Geopolitical Scenario Another factor to consider is the current geopolitical scenario. The Trump-era trade friction between China and the US has continued under the current Biden administration. Moreover, there is concern regarding China-Russia ties, especially regarding the current Ukraine crisis. At this point, further US sanctions on Chinese companies seem inevitable, but there is no clarity regarding what these sanctions might be. 3. Crisis in China's real estate sector Then, there is the possibility of re-emergence of the Evergrande crisis in China's real estate sector. Real estate accounts for around 15% to 20% of China's GDP and residential property ownership costs can account for up to 70% of a household's disposable income. So, if there is a slump in property prices in China, the impact on the economy can be significant. It can lead to a recession and even significant policy changes such as interest rate hikes by China's central bank. 4. COVID Policy by China Last but not least is the Zero COVID Policy by China. As we have witnessed in Shanghai recently, the Chinese government's strategy for dealing with the pandemic is to impose a complete lockdown of large sections of the population. While the effectiveness of this strategy is debatable, it does have knock-on effects on the economy due to decreased consumption, shortage of essential supplies, and a complete halt to production activities that can adversely impact the Chinese economy. Now let's discuss current scenario. Is it a good idea to invest in China? Globally, analysts are divided regarding the future outlook of Chinese stocks. Some like Goldman Sachs and Credit Suisse have maintained a positive outlook, while Bank of America and Morgan Stanley have maintained a neutral outlook. Even then, the recovery of Chinese stocks in 2022 from the recent lows is currently a popular call amongst global investors. Key factors driving this opinion include the easing up of the Chinese government's regulatory crackdown. 
the cheap valuation of Chinese stocks, see favorable monetary policy attracting more money into financial markets. While there is considerable uncertainty regarding the extent to which Chinese equity markets will recover in 2022, the consensus is that the Chinese economy will grow by 5.5% in 2022. Another factor in favor of China is the rising inflation in the U.S. Higher inflation can prompt the Federal Reserve to increase interest rates leading to a slowdown in U.S. economic activities. This can lead to an increased flow of international investments into China. The third factor in favor of China is the perceived lower level of geopolitical risk to investments as compared to investments made in the U.S. The key reason for this is the greater involvement of the U.S. in global affairs like the Ukraine-Russia conflict as compared to the more neutral stance taken by China in the matter. Now at the end of podcast let's discuss the bottom line. Key geopolitical, economic, and policy risks are associated with investing in Chinese equities. But at the same time, no other international market presently offers a similar potential for wealth creation. So, the question that you really need to answer is how high a risk you are actually willing to take to grow your wealth. If you want to read full article about it then the link of the article is in description. Thank you and goodbye from Modest View.